Unfortunately, I have one of those. That's good. Right, I'll sort that out for you, kickback man. Probably this one that's departing now. Let's head up to the front of the train and watch him leave. busy arguing over who won the uh, over the rules for winning stuff on the giveaways. <laughs> yep, the NSF smoke box worked on the braking system. It's based heavily on the braking system that was used um, uh, on um, Sherman Hill update. BNSF. Well, Milepost didn't really do any of this loco setup on Canadian Mountain Passes. That was me and uh, one of the guys at uh, Dovetail. Dad has an amazing train now. And that's the one that I normally use.
Yeah, I did the... Uh, well, I specified the way the brakes were supposed to work. Proportion ideal. It was a lot better than what was there before. How do you mean an AI is tabbing a red signal? No, what happens is the light goes green for a split second and then as soon as the train moves it stops being green again so you never actually see it being green. AI just ignores red signals. No, it doesn't, cop knob them out. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, yes, it's always based on the signal link. Why doesn't the F7 have advanced brakes? You'll have to ask Dovetail that. I haven't a clue. I'm not part of the TS1 dev anymore. Uh, cop plop them out. That's usually um, setting uh, because of an error in setup of signalling, or it's because of running the signals, um, um, running the scenario straight out of the editor, which is a, an absolute common cause of that because the way things don't get reset when you run them. One of the confusions is that there are multiple places internally that lights are, are manufactured, are set. You'd think a light would exist in one place, but there's an internal representation, which is what AI used. There's the thing that you can see, and there's the thing on the map, and they're all separate, and they're all trying to keep in sync, and it doesn't always work. But normally, if you start right from the scenario play, it works. If it doesn't work, then it's usually down to the scenario not follow, following the links correctly. Or, it, or doing the links correctly. Oh, there's a train over here doing something. Uh, or it's down to signalling setup itself not quite being right. Amtrak AI can't tab, that would have just been some other signalling glitch. AI have no idea how to tab, in fact there's no way scripting scripting wise to cause a tab. The only thing that can cause a tab is actually pressing the tab button. Hey, butter mister. Hey, 
There you go, that was some great action. Boom. Scenario done. So that was the first of the railfan scenarios on Feather River Canyon. On that note, uh, I'm gonna uh, can the AI MSTS shuffle the lights. <laughs> There's no reason why you couldn't set it up to do that, but right, I'm gonna head to bed now, folks. Uh, hopefully, I'll see a few of you at Brighton Model World this weekend. Uh, if you're on your way, if uh, if you do, make sure you say hello. Uh, and if you don't, then I'll see you on Monday for the next one. Uh, DJ SB, any new YouTube vids going up soon? Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> Being sick this week, I've been. I, I ran out of new videos to upload to, or, or to make public, and I haven't put them. Um, I've been slowly getting them across from Twitch, and I've got to get all the thumbs and so forth done. So I'm getting there, but I've, I've just had other things to deal with this week. Um, do apologise, and I will get caught up. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, and I will uh, see you hopefully this weekend, failing that on Monday. Bye.